All right, so this is a Rescue HQ. It came out a few years ago. Build up your headquarters from scratch and design your own masterpiece. In Rescue HQ, you build, organize, and manage a joint station for firefighters, police, and ambulance uh, paramedics. Manage your resources wisely and master challenging emergencies to keep your city safe. Uh, are you up for the challenge? I really don't know if I am or not. Some people like recommended this game and said you should check it out, and I'm here to check it out for sure. Uh, this is developed by Still Alive Studios and uh, published by Airsoft uh, Gim GmbH, I guess. I don't know. I've never played this game. This is going to be completely blind as we go into this. If you guys want to, oh god, what did I do? If you guys want to see uh, this, I don't know, more of this game, let me know. Hit the like button. And I'll bring more to you to the channel. Other than that, let's go ahead and take a look at Rescue H freaking Q. Yes, new game. Send me up. Uh, I dub the cadet. Recommended. I, I, dude, Streets of San Francisco. San Francisco Revisited. Chicago. Winter Nightmare. Oh my god. Okay. Berlin. Is that what this is? I dub the cadet. So Berlin. Location Berlin. Duration for five weeks before endless mode. Oh, I see. Um, challenges. Avoid bankruptcy for the duration of the scenario. Complete objectives for cash or for extra cash and reputation. Description. The default setting of the Berlin map. No specific. Okay. Sure. I, I, I'm not. Send me. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Paramedics. Police station. Police officers. Firefighters. All in the same building. If you completely treat a patient, you'll receive significant bonus payment. Their insurance is your friend. We'll see Welcome about that. Dear friend, I will personally guide you in building this HQ. All right. Tell me your name. Wait, what? Oh, you can't. Well, tough luck. I dub the cadet. Okay, I'm the cadet. You will set up firefighting, police, and medical departments. You better follow my lead, cadet. No. First off, let's build up the fire department. Okay. I like fire. I mean, it's bright. And if you get close, it's warm and causes delicious, uh, uh, terrible pain. Terrible pain. So I'm actually going to see what what this, is this like where our people like, is this for our firefighters? I think that is for our fire. We have firefighters. I believe these are our firefighters just roaming about here. Anyways, you've got some money. Put it to use. Where's my money? Build a fire engine, Up repair here. equipment, and get a hiring desk. Okay. You do that. And I'll make sure you have some fire emergencies soon enough. So, great. So $100,000 is how much we have. So build a large, or sorry, build an LF10, which is a garage. So build menu. Oh, my God. Building rooms and stations. Okay, corridor, office, utility, garage, and so on and so far. We want a garage, yeah? And we want the LF10, which is $10,000. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, hang on a sec. First things first. Let's see here. Let's see what the game's trying to tell us. Garage, right? That, okay. That goes into a building, right? Okay, that. You, you put that into a building. Got it. Okay, so this is the building that we're probably going to put it in, right? Yeah? Do I just, like, send it right there? Hang on a sec. Let's, like, let's, let's back it up a bit here, partner. All right, so, uh, this is, can we rotate? Is there, yeah, okay, E and Q to rotate. Perfect. So... That's where our fire truck will go. <laughs> okay, so we, we've done that, right? Uh, kind of like the tutorial base, right, of, of what we got going on here. Uh, build a fire department hiring station now. So that would probably be office and hiring station, and that goes in here. I see, I see, I see, I see. Uh, let's see here. Rotate this around. Yep. Put that right there. Fantastic. Uh, build a air tank refill, refill station. Where the hell would that be? Utility? Okay. Uh, fire fire lockers that's that's what must this be uh air tank storage where do i put the air tank storage i guess here yeah i love the music dude hit me with the jazz elevator music i'm ready to shop for a training bot bra at macy's fantastic uh put that right there i guess there you go so that was air tank refill station and that's an air tank storage system so that's good right hit me with the play so they're gonna go ahead and i guess build this up yeah we can back out of all that stuff. Uh, let's hit with the fast forward. Yeah, two times. Okay, that is up and going. Uh, the air tank's coming through. This, I think, is like probably the longest to build. The actual uh, dolly for the truck. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> I don't know what that's called, but wherever that goes, it looks like a fire truck is actually going to be built through a, a box, a bunch of boxes. That's exactly what it is. Uh, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. So is this our first situation? Have a 20 reputation. Okay, so I guess this is our first rep rep uh, situation. So uh, unresponded emergency. Click to set up dispatch. 
Yeah. You respond to emergencies and make the tough decisions that determine the safety of the city. Right. The best part? This is also how you earn money. Great. Choose carefully which vehicles, crew, and equipment to send out. Oh, that's interesting. Unavailable until this emergency is resolved. Okay, well, th that makes sense, right? So let's see here. In the top part of your find the resource requirements to successfully complete the emergency. Right. Uh, the bottom half allows you to actually assign the assets you want to send out. Vehicles, crew, and equipment. You selected vehicles also provided, uh, your selected vehicles also provide the necessary seats for your crew and slots for the equipment. Okay, I think I understand. So let's see here. <clears throat> a cat got stuck in a really high tree. Two people are dead, or <laughs> two people are needed. One to climb after, and the other to catch the cat when it defends uh, by itself. Okay, uh, right. So w cat in the tree is that was that was actually happening? So we send the truck out with like Raymond and Juliana and Madi and Rusty. Well, let's not put Rusty on there. So wait a sec. Surplus water tank. Okay. That's a surplus because we have an actual truck going out there. But we have to send a truck, right? Uh, we have to send a truck. So let's just send three people. We'll dispatch three people. That will get the job done 100%. Looks like it's going to take 44 seconds or 44 minutes. Sorry. Uh, $500 we will get from this in 20 reputation. So dispatch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here they go. Okay, go. Oh, hit play. Yeah. Get in the truck right now. Look at this. Kind of reminds me, kind of gives me like a little bit of like two point uh, hospital vibes. <laughs> Did you see that? Rewind that. That person just literally dove in front of the fire truck. Okay, so that will take some time. I guess 44 minutes. You can see it up here in the top right hand. Uh, definitely done now. A cool. Holiday is about to start. Yeah, I guess. Whoa. Usually celebrate with tons of fireworks. Okay. Expect a lot of fires in urban areas during that time. Oh, okay. So what is this? So timeline. Uh, whoa, timeout, like half a second. What is this going on? National holiday, a lot of fireworks and barbecue. Expect an increase in house fires. Fires usually start in the evening when people get more enthusiastic and reckless. Uh, the time scale here is kind of weird to see. Like, I don't see what the heck, like this bar is a little funky, but uh, whoops. Um, it's 12 p.m., I guess, middle day. So what does that mean? That means we should probably prepare, right? Probably prepare for uh, this to happen. So we want to go maybe, ooh, what's training do? Training is water hall training, trains rookie firefighters. We probably want to go with another f a fire truck, yeah? So how do you actually build the room? Oh, you just like build it out? Like how do you build the, like I feel like, okay, wall. Oh, add wall, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. And then build it down. And then build it over. And then... <laughs> I don't think it was that easy, maybe? Corridor? Room builder tool? Uh... Maybe hit me with, like, no wall here? No, excuse me. No wall here, actually? Doesn't... Doesn't exist. Doesn't exist at all. Okay. So... We can unlock the DLK, which is an extendable ladder. Or we can unlock the TLF 3000 fire vehicle, the basic water tank to equip. And what we have is just a basic firefighter vehicle. So, like, obviously you want to unlock the water tank, right? But the garage thing is a little bit kind of confusing me here. I will I will be honest with you. Requires a street. Yeah, you think? And requires a garage. Okay, so maybe I'm just, like, doing this wrong. Maybe I'm just being an idiot about it. Okay. Um, let's build this out. That easy. That easy. You actual idiot. Okay, now let's get this new fire truck in, right? <clears throat> yeah, it does actually look different too. I like that. Let's put that as close as we can to the other one. So we'll build that up. So we have the L LF-10 basic firefighter to go save a freaking cat from a tree. We have a basic water tank, and then we have another DLK extendable ladder carrier, but it doesn't say anything about a water tank or anything like that. I guess we can unlock that too with no like repercussions here. No, okay, yeah. Cool. So we have that fire truck also if we wanted to use it for 12 grand. Now, if we click on training here, it does give us the water hauling thing. So it trains rookie firefighters. This is apparently we can unlock that. Where does this go? This could go anywhere, really, can it, huh? Probably want to put this like. 
We need a training room. So we actually need to build a training room. Okay, I'm understanding here. I'm, 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 it took me a second to figure out what's going on here, but it, it's fairly simple. So this will be our training room, right? This will be our training room. And we'll do like that there. Build error. Objects cannot be reached because there's no door. Uh, we need a door. Give me a door. A main entrance or just a door. Just a simple door. Nothing too crazy. Just a door. Yeah, right there. Fantastic. Now it can be reached. Cool. Uh, bathroom. This is something they don't have. Allows you to address crew needs, toilet, and hygiene. I, I think it's probably important to have a bathroom. Yeah, absolutely. So maybe we put like a bathroom down the hall here. The music, dude. Okay. We'll go bathroom. Oh, this is a big bathroom, actually. Um... Well, you know what? It should be big if there's going to be showers in here too, right? I could be doing this completely wrong, but I kind of like this. Uh, we'll go corridor here, and we'll make this wall come out here a little bit more. And then we'll make our corridor go this way, and we'll make our corridor go this way. This is like the beginning, right? The whole like beginning. Like I'm not like too worried about this like scenario here, really. I don't want to like get too involved with it. Uh, shower cabin. Yeah, I like to put a shower cabin. Maybe hit me one there. Hit me another back to back and then throw in a a toilet off over here now i know i know it needs a freaking door give it a door there you go i love it all right there you go and then add a stall of some sort maybe like right there right there right there only three at a time i guess right now and then a sink well yeah let's just put a sink i guess right there we don't need three just two is fine okay so that's good i guess for a bathroom having a kitchen seems important too obviously so maybe we can build out like a kitchen here and put one right there have a little bit of a refrigerator like i said i could be like building these rooms way too big and i have a feeling that i'm building these rooms way too big it just doesn't feel right now the fact that those doors don't line up does kind of drive me nuts oh i hate what i just did there oh no oh no sorry i didn't mean to do that i just wanted to move the move this can I actually move that? Uh, move, yeah. There you go. Good job. Okay, back to this. Uh, this was the, uh, what is this? The, uh, uh, the kitchen. We have a refrigerator and maybe, like, a, a chair. <laughs> can't have, like, can't have nice things. You're not allowed to have a freaking table. You can have that and that and that's it. So how much money do we have? $70,000. And then, like, a bedroom? Like, obviously, like, a, a dormitory of some sort, right? That seems pretty important to me as well. But, again, I might be, like, way out of this, especially because we haven't, like, even gone through, like, the first day here. Now, one thing I am kind of curious about is what the heck does this do? Uh, the fire department hiring station? Uh, do we just hire random people whenever we're ready to do so? Or does, do they just get hired automatically? Applicants. I see. Applicants. Okay. 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 So, successful emergency. Resolved. Thank you for that. Yeah. Fire department. Yeah. Now I can start to uh, forward fire issues your way. Sure. Obviously, keep growing your department. You'll even be able to handle kittens and trees. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just did that, so we don't even at me. We need more manpower if we are to thrive. We need to recruit more firefighters. That's what I thought. Okay, that that that's ultimately what I thought. New hires are usually rookies. They're nearly useless in the field unless they have really strong superstition. Uh, uh, supervision. Supervision. Having the muscle mass of yogurt, newly hired rookies are basically useless in emergencies. I see, this is why we got the bucket. ...in a basic training area, usually. Okay, so you may want to spend reputation to unlock new stations and vehicles. Ask for help for automatically complete an emergency. Convert it to money at the end of the week. You can also only stockpile a limited amount of reputation. This cap increases at the end of the week. Reputation gained is uh, beyond the cap is automatically converted to money. Okay, that's interesting take on that. Uh, right, so yeah, like I said, um, uh, th you know, we have our training going to be setting up here. Build two water. Okay, so they want two water training things. So let's go ahead and build a couple of these now. Put the second one right there. Fantastic. Okay, and uh, let's just hit play. Yeah, let's hit play. Let's let other people like build up all these things because this is actually quite a bit. And then we'll start hiring new people. Now your rookies can train for emergencies. Okay. Check the applicants tab in the crew menu. Okay. Some rookies are willing to join our little cult. <laughs> our cult. So much fun. Assimilating fresh souls. I, I mean, finding applicants requires manning recruitment desks. Some may also join after completing objectives. Keep in mind that every crew member needs a locker. Okay. Let us keep expanding the common area. 
And by us, I mean you. Set up a small kitchen and a bathroom where people can eat in peace. And Look at that. I was already ahead of you. Anyway, if they don't have anything to eat, they'll just leave to get food right when you need them. I know, I know. Labor laws, right? I hate that I like made this bigger than the other rooms. I really, really hate that, but that's all right. So uh, build a bedroom. So that was the only thing that we were kind of missing there was like the bedroom, the dormitory type thing. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Got to put it out about yay, yay wide, I guess. And in investing, right? Investing into our people here eventually. Put a nice door because, you know, we don't want to be too short on it. Do a little bit of this. Have like a bed. I, I guess they can like all sleep together. They have no problem all sleeping together in one uh, giddy up here, right? There we go. There we go. I don't even know how many employees we have. So it will be interesting to see. There we go. There we go. So that's what? Seven beds? Yeah, seven beds indeed. Maybe put a little bit of a chair there in the corner or something for timeout reasons. I don't know, dude. Put that right there. <clears throat> okay, so that's our bedroom down. Um, and then, uh, yeah, something about hiring. So let's see here. <clears throat> applicants, right? We want to go to applicants, possibly. We'll, we'll let this game kind of like continue here. Still got to let our game catch up with the whole like, uh, you know, I got this going on, got that going on. So much is going on. Have a reputation of 200. Okay, here we go. First thing. Emergency coming in. Uh, unresponded. A cat got stuck in a really high tree. Two people are... Again? Again? What is this map? <laughs> okay. Get LF10 out there right now and send off... Yo. They actually have perks. So, seasoned firefighter, uh, industrial fire specialist. I'm going to keep those guys behind. I'm going to go... Fire, so firefighter one and firefighter two. So seasoned firefighter. I'm gonna go with a uh, rusty, right? Yeah, rusty. I'm gonna go with rusty, who is just a firefighter. I'm gonna put Maynard on this, and I'm gonna put Mod Modi on this too. So two firefighters, two well associated. Are they not allowed to go? Oh, I guess they're not allowed to go. Trainees are not allowed to go. Never mind. Not happening. Okay, well. If we send all four of our guys out, it will be 100% done. I guess that's what we want to do. So we'll go ahead and do that. That sounded like Christmas. All right. So let them go out. Watch this. You're going to see someone like dive in front of the truck or something. They're going to get dressed real quick. I love this little thing, dude. This game is actually kind of banging. I, I, I'll be I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Look, see, dove right in front of it. This game's kind of banging. I kind of like it. So all in all, we have one guy here. Two guys here. Uh, there are three guys here. So the three rookies that we have, they're actually sleeping because they're exhausted from training all day. While our guys are going out to save a cat, uh, which now eventually is going to bring in a, um, well, first of all, success has happened. Very good. Very good indeed. But uh, fires are going to start coming out here soon, right? So there's an increase on our on our uh, reputation there. So like I said, I'm having like, a, like resources. So I go resources, air tanks, use to supplement oxygen. Oh, there's going to be a lot to this game that I'm going to really need to catch up on, huh? Um, so, okay, employee. These must be the people that we can hire here, right? Yeah, these must be our applicants right here. I see. This is why that's clicked on that and this is not clicked on that, right? I, I'm assuming that's how, how it is. Uh, so these are the available people. So we have like a seasoned firefighter two who is a chemical specialist, industrial. Uh, if we need more firefighters, I guess we could just hire some. Uh, we can hire more training. I'm going to just wait for a sec until we desperately need it. So I'm going to put these guys on a fast forward here. So the only thing that we really need to do is get our reputation up and running. There we go. Uh, so we're just kind of waiting patiently right now for a call to come in and be like, hey, somebody's house is on fire. Send me with the big truck, the TFL. What the hell is this? The night shift is about to begin. Uh, what? How many employees out of all of this profession will be working the upcoming shift? So 17 people will be upcoming, coming in, going out. Okay, so we have seven and seven. Okay, so 14. Okay, I see. How many employees out of all of this profession will work the upcoming shift? Five. Okay, I see. Okay, so now we have the night shift crew coming in. That's kind of smart. I wasn't actually <laughs> expecting that. So now everything changes. <laughs> as far as like what we have available to us, like what uh, firefight. I don't know why I was thinking like 24 hours on our... Uh, on our like 24 7 like all day every day on all the firefighters right uh, that was probably a worse bad thing to expect there so 
it's only 1900 gonna turn into 2000 here still haven't had zero calls no calls at all on any fires kind of waiting patiently sixty three thousand dollars uh this is a basic water tank equipped fire truck that if there is a fire to break out this should do the job but this isn't going to be able to do the job no okay here we go uh, hitting us hard with this. What is this? What's going on here? Citizen reported smoke coming out of a house in a quiet neighborhood. Interesting. Uh, this is going to be required an air tank. It's going to also going to require a water tank. And it's going to require four firefighters to hit on board. So we're going to go ahead and hit them with the TF, uh, TLF uh, fire truck. That will give us water tank, which is good. Plus, we have a little bit of a surplus uh, with what we have. And then we're going to need to get uh, an air tank. Possibly one, just one air tank. Yeah, just one air tank to go along with it. And then anybody that you want to go. So chemical specialist, what is a chemical specialist? Adept at operating in hazardous environments. Firefighting skill plus one chemical or biohazard emergencies. Okay, nothing too crazy there. They're going to want four firefighters on scene here. And we have three firefighters that are still uh, in training as, as it is. So that should be good to go, yeah? Send me. One more crew slot. Wait, what? Oh, there you go. I think I used too many. I could have sworn this said four out of four firefighters, but maybe not. Only three crews. Oh, because of the truck. I think it's because the truck can only carry three. Is that what it is? Possibly. But this should be 100% done. No problem there. There's our new fire truck going out. Look at that. They're going to quickly jump into, 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 you know, giddy up here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh 9 10 11 12 so we only have 12 lockers there's our freaking uh monster zinc scream uh tank gone oh my god uh, and then we have what is this called this is the air tank refill station okay i see okay okay we might need to expand this locker room out just a little bit possibly but uh, yeah our trainees are going to stay behind and train i think we even have just one seasoned firefighter just hanging around as well so they can do whatever they want they can have their time and whatnot so training here that's fine bathroom i think we have everything yeah we have everything what's in the utilities more uh air tank storage more firefighter lockers they're back look at them everything went well <laughs> i guess 1700 take that and 50 xp or sorry 50 uh reputation for that a lot of money to go along with that, so that's good to see. Uh, if we wanted to, we could think about... Bro, oh, there's even another uh, fire truck here. There's a couple more fire trucks. We have the... Um, well, this is a new one, I guess. A large water tank packs a mounted water cannon and additional foam thrower. And then this is a DLK, which is... That's the, ex uh, the ex uh, extendable ladder carrier. In case, I guess, if we needed to, for whatever reason... Uh, go even higher for like a cat or something again so or in case you know people needed to, to like go about what the heck was that why did that oh oh is it because this is oh i see so don carlito i see unending wisdom has decided to <coughs> rat out his peers what the trial happens at the end of the week make sure his old friends don't get too close to him at the trial so a mafia boss is on the trial in the city. Judge asks for armed escort. Be ready with police van, eight police officer, and some SWAT gear. Okay, that's that's. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, dude. One applicant, Kathleen Owler. Kathleen Owler, who wants to be hired for the daytime or the nighttime. Uh, we could put her on day or night, actually. She is a train rookie, or she's not a train rookie. She is a rookie. We'll put her on for daytime we'll hire her for daytime so i see here uh, these are all of our employees now it makes more sense these are all of our employees that we have for day and night shift um because i thought this list was smaller but i forgot about the night shift and then we have applicants that will just come in over time so that's good to know uh, overall it uh, looks like we need to like think about building a police situation how do i do that how do i bring the police in receive oh Oh, we, well, we get that after doing this. I see. Okay. I see. I see. So after we get done doing this, uh, expand common area uh, quest, which all we need is, is reputation. Then we will get the ability to bring in police officers and things like that. Okay. I like it. Cool. This is actually a pretty cool little game. I do have to say, what is up here? How many crew members of this type idling? Okay. I, I'm not really worried about that, I guess. Is it dirty in there? I can't tell. Are those drains? Those are drains. Okay. We have another uh, situation here, guys. Uh, citizens have reported smoke coming out of an apartment in a high-rise building. That's interesting. Uh, we're going to need to have an air tank, so let's put an air tank on board here. We're going to need a water tank. 
Uh, so I guess the LF-10 can actually technically go if we really wanted it to, to go. Uh, they're asking for four crew members. So let's see. The LF-10 could be our w water tank. So we'll do that. Currently at air tank station. This is a chemical specialist. We'll send our seasoned firefighter out there and send three off and they'll be fine. 100% dispatched. There you go. Take it. Send it. Get all buck wild. Get all crazy. Uh, the day shift is about to begin. We will have people come in. Very good. Uh, sure. Yeah, eight people coming in. Oh, yeah. We're going to get our new hire in, too, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go. You go. Good job. Great job. Fantastic. Now, I wonder how long it takes for our rookies to, like, really, like, just level up. I guess we could have kind of technically more in there if we wanted to. Let's go with more. Let's go with more training. Let's, like, rotate that over. There we go. Would you guys like some more training in there? There you go. There you go. Build those up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, successful emergency. Good job, guys. Fantastic. 50 uh, reputation and a little bit of money. We'll let you guys come in and take a breather. They actually left. Oh, yeah, because their shift ended. Are about to start. Be ready to respond. Ah, I see. So we were in the middle of a national holiday. We were upcoming on a national holiday. Very well, very well. So yes, uh, yeah, definitely be ready to respond. I'm a little terrified. All right, so what do we have here? Citizen have reported smoke coming out of an apartment in a high-rise building once again. We will send off our LF-10, our small vehicle. We will send um, an air air tank. I'm a little scared for like the national holiday now. We will take uh, these firefighters out to go out and about. So good job. Take it off. I'm a little terrified. I kind of want to expand our, um, well, they can go out. I want to expand our, uh, what is it? Utility room? Yeah. Our utility room out a bit, kind of. And that's all right. Uh, utility, please. There we go. <clears throat> that's a little bit better. And then we'll have a little bit of firefighter lockers, like more of them to be exact. Actually, let's put a break into that. Right. Requires a wall. The lockers were... Oh, these are... Oh, those actually have little walls. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, I got you. There you go. And then we go with a wall. They're back. Great job. <laughs> I love how they just haul in ass. There we go. More lockers for us. Get ready for that. Okay, let's get that reputation in. 1,700 to 50 uh, reputation. We're 10 away. Good Lord. Looks like we have another applicant here as well. Who do we have? This is Mira, or Maria, Maria, sorry, Maria, who is a rookie as well. We will hire her for the nighttime shift, so that we are evenly split on 8 and 8 there. Okay, cool. Oh, I like it. We might need to bring in more air tanks, possibly. I don't know. We're not really short on any air tanks as it is. Somebody's just refueling. Maybe another refrigerator wouldn't be a bad idea. Another situation going on here. Uh, we have some stray fireworks started a small fire in the neighborhood. Let's be quick in extinguishing them so that people can continue to have a good time. Uh, we want one air tank on that job. Uh, we could technically even just send out the LF-10. So 20%. What does that mean, actually, if it's 20% and 24%? Does that mean the effectiveness? That might be, like, the effectiveness. Regardless, we're sending them out. Go have a good one. And maybe what I do is I spend a little bit more, more money on our people here. What is outside? Fire department? Helicopter? Oh, my God. Uh, let's go uh, bathroom here. Maybe add a little bit more. Now that we have quite a bit of people in here. We have like at least eight people in here at a time. Have a little bit more bathroom as well. A little bit more stalls. There you go. Not too bad. And like I said, maybe like even another refrigerator. Wouldn't it be a bad idea? There you go. Having more beds probably because we only have seven beds. Donkey, donkey, donk, donk. I don't even know how I should be, like, building this, but I'm, I'm, I, I guess what I have to say is, like, regardless of how I'm building this, even though it could be, like, terrible, I'm having a good time. I am having a good time. I'm having a better time than I thought. Perfect. Kind of built that wonky still, but still perfect. Okay, so that was completed. That's going to give us 80 reputation, which should complete this, and then that will give us the ability to get police in, right? The common area is... Hey, hooray! Don't forget to add on to those spaces as your team grows. Okay. 
Let's set up a basic precinct so our people can go out and fight crime. Let's do it. Okay, so now we got to set up a precinct. Build police lockers and things like that. Now, I, I kind of would like to like do it somewhere off and about. If I can, is it possible to do that? $13,000 for this. Reach reputation rank two. Buy an adjacent lot. One out of one. Okay, what about over here? $45,000 to buy this area? That seems like a lot. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it, dude. I'm all in. Okay, okay. So, off in this direction, we will have a police station of some sort. So, like a corridor, right? Corridor going up. Up, uh, let me see here. Yeah, corridor going up this way, please. Let me just make sure I'm doing this correctly. I have a vision. That's all I gotta say is, like, I have a vision. Perfect. Okay. And then, for an office, we go out this way. Not too big, though. Not too big. Like, right there. Right? Office. And then inside that office, we obviously have what we need, which this is a police hiring station. Yeah, we'll put the police hiring station right there. And then obviously put a freaking door. Come on now. And then let's put a main entrance at the front here. And then, what is this? Paperwork storage? Police crew use this cabinet for storing fresh paperwork to be used for police, uh, police, uh, for the police desk. Okay, well, I guess we use that too. Ah, a little cabinet. Okay, so that's an office. <laughs> uh, converts paperwork to file. Okay, so it looks like we need that too. Oh, this is going to be a little bit more complicated now, isn't it? Um, so we'll put that, I guess, right there. I don't know. Wait, what's blocking that? What's blocking this? Is it blocked because uh, the um, because of where the boxes are and because of where these boxes are? Okay, I think that's what it is. Yeah, I think that's where it is. I'm not too worried about that because I think it could fix itself. Utility. Police lockers. Right. Police lockers. Um, I think we go utility. Yeah, we go utility. And we bring utility out this way. Yeah, we bring out utility this way. That could potentially even go farther down the line, right? And then what we do is we just kind of make this simple. We'll put a door in. Put that right there. Obviously unlock our police lockers. And then just like slap them in. Up against the wall. Put like four. How many? How much money do we have? 22,000? Okay, that's all right. Then we go garage. Now, this is going to be interesting. Garage is going to go right here. I don't even know how big the garage should be for the police cruiser. It shouldn't be that big, right? Yeah, it's fairly simply, uh, you know, fairly simply small. Um, so that's that. Uh, we have a new firefighter or fire truck too. Yeah, we have a new fire truck. Uh, large water tank TFL 4000. We could obviously unlock too. Let's unlock that. Okay. And then let's go ahead and make another garage, please. Another cruise. Another cruise. I should probably be like counting like how much this is. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Is it really six by six? Is that what I did? My God. I guess so. Uh, but it doesn't have to be like, you know, section like that. I could put, a, put them side by side as we go. 8,000 there. Okay, look at our money. Our money is like dire, right? This is a lot of money. Put a freaking door do. There you go. There's your door. Okay. So, so far that's good. But like a bathroom, a kitchen, a bedroom, and all the above is stuff that we don't have. But I don't think you need that kind of stuff for, for, um, for a police station, do you? Like you don't need bedrooms for a police station, no? I don't think you do so to kind of make this uh thing like not so aggressive we'll put that door right there for now oh my god are you kidding me okay can we put that like right there then there <laughs> all right okay let's see here i don't i don't know like okay we are, okay we do come with police officers we get four police officers day shift and four night shift i see okay so they do give us that so police emergency uh procedure uh produces investigation files uh, paperwork and evidence process and involve them using the very uh, various stations that can be built in the office gain money and reputation from processing investigation files okay that makes sense all right 
uh, build police car cruiser, which we have build a police hiring station, which we definitely have. Uh, yeah, continue. Here they come. <laughs> Here they are. Yeah. There you go. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. So we have basically two desks, like the other guys, two desk jockeys, and then two people that might go out on, on a call or two, right? Very low on money, by the way. Very low. That's why I haven't like made any other dealio here. Okay, we have a fire situation here on board. Fire situation is uh, four. Whoa. Four air tanks? Four air. What is this? A local business is reporting smoking is coming out. Okay. And then we buy an. Or we don't buy, but we send an LF10. Send our Raymond, Juliana, and Madi out there to go check it out. They'll be on their way. And continue. All right. I like it. I dig it. This is really cool, dude. This is an interesting game. This is. I, I, I have to say, it's a very interesting game. It's pretty cool, though. Like I said, it gives me, like, those two-point two point hospital vibes. It is a little silly. <laughs> All right. Cool, cool, cool. Guess we just sit here and wait. We'll just wait. Give me a call. All right, day shift going into night shift. Sounds good. Come on in. So there's another entrance for the firefighters. There's another entrance over here for the firefighters and for the police officers. They can like kind of like mosey about. If I didn't have this hallway connected, they didn't. They wouldn't have to like really like um, kind of like cross paths here. But we will gain the reputation and the money from that. Now with the reputation and the money from that, do we dare add anything over here? So what is this office into file storage? Which we should probably do that. That sounds very important indeed. And we will add that and put that bad boy right there. Okay. Sounds good. And then, uh, yeah, we want to put a, not a training room, not a, well, maybe a bathroom. Yeah, a bathroom wouldn't be too bad, I guess, for these people. Uh, let's do that. Maybe not a big one, though, for, like, starters. That's fine. Tiny bathroom. Put a door there. There we go. Have a shower in case they need to take a shower. Maybe two showers. Oh, money. Excellent. Holy then I think bathroom or a shower would have cost $1,500. So, uh, consult projections by clicking up the top left-hand corner. Right. Okay. That, that's that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Continue. I'm not worried about it. Two showers. No toilets. <laughs> that's all they get. I don't know. I don't know how this all is going to work, but it's going to be interesting to see how this week ends. I mean, we're not looking very good. Like, we're not looking good financially. I, I know that. But, okay. A couple of applicants coming in, too. Uh, we have not hire applicants. Build more lockers. Okay, so there are limited how many applicants you can you may have. Building lockers and stuff like that will help increase. So uh, Karen would be the obviously we need another locker. How many crew members you can hire for each department? Okay. Check the top of your screen to view your current hiring capacities. Okay, top of the screen, up here, right? Eight out of eight. Uh, okay, eight out of eight forty. Okay, I see that. Locker space is important for your crew to work properly. Before dispatching, every crew member must walk to and use a locker. Consider this in your station layout. Ah, that is a good call. <laughs> okay, so uh, for a firefighter, we will hire a daytime firefighter, and then we need another locker, but we don't have money for another police officer at this given time. It is what it is, right? Let's go and fast forward the time here. We'll continue through. Hopefully, we get a call for the police because I would like to get a call for the police just to see. Look, they went all the way down there just to go to the bedroom. So, we have two fires coming in at the same time. This is going to be kind of spicy here. And, um, it looks like one of our people did end up actually becoming a firefighter after training for a while. So, that's good to see. So, some stray fireworks uh, went off here. We will send a LF-10 fire truck. We will send one air tank with them, and we will send uh... I don't even know, dude. We'll send three regular level one firefighters, one that is actually tired, too. And we'll see how that goes. And then for the second emergency, we will send another stray firework one air tank seasoned firefighter and russell and that should be a good call three out of four firefighters i mean i would take you know i guess i can right 
They're all just tired, though. If pushed for further, could be exhausted, could be recovered. This is fine. Just send the two firefighters out, and we'll see what happens there. Hopefully, they both uh, go on a successful mission here. All together. Now, if we would have hired that one person to come to nighttime, it would have been a lot easier, obviously, but that's, that's not the case we have, we have here. Okay, fast forward. Let's go hit it. Two fire trucks leaving the building. Look at that. Hell yeah. Love it. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, I love it. Okay. So we wait patiently for maybe them to come back. Um, There they are. They're back. They're back. All right. All right. All right. So money in the bank. Reputation also. Very good. That will give us the ability to bring in one locker. And one locker will give us the ability to obviously uh, hire that one other police officer. So we'll do that. We'll hire that one police officer. This police officer... Uh, right? Oh, we have to build it out first. Um, yeah. Well, in the meantime, then, we can at least build them a toilet. Yeah, we can build them a toilet. And then probably build them a sink. At least one sink. There we go. Okay, let those build out real quick. Okay, now we have the other locker out. Let's go ahead and hire this uh, person for daytime. Yeah, daytime... Daytime police officer. There we go. And continue. Awesome. Let's go and fast forward time even more here. $2,700. I mean, we're, we're, we're living on the edge. Crew member uh -oh. just left the HQ during their shift. So, unattended. So, unattended needs may cause crew to leave work, food, rest, hygiene. Other statuses may cause crew to be ineffective in dispatch of, or productivity. Uh, injury, exhaust, exhaustion. Uh, allowing your crew to go home on shift change resets their afflictions okay they will keep doing that if you do not provide enough food rest and hygiene facilities okay i like that it's a good Other times, yeah though, that makes sense may become injured or exhausted emergencies overtime this is only treated once they go home after their shifts okay that's fine we got that it's common sense in the way kind of okay Okay, we have another, we have a emergency on. We have uh, some stray fireworks once again have gone off. Let's send the L10. Give me a little bit of that and do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a little bit of that. Nope, let's not do any of that. Let's go here and here with it. And let's do, yeah, carry. It seems like they just got done doing, um, uh, doing training as well. So yeah, we'll send carry out there too. Perfect. All right, they'll go ahead and get in their truck and they'll bump out of here. And then they'll come back. Looks like we have another fire. Oh, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough, especially when we have um, people here that are very tired. we got to build more beds, I think. So we're going to send the big truck out, obviously. We need an air tank, obviously. Russell's going to go. Greg is going to go. Felipe is going to go. They're tired, but we have to have someone go. Now, this project over here, adding more bedrooms, I kind of wish I should have just, like, probably just like added them all together like considering the police officers will use the same thing too right uh they'll probably use the same room so i don't really have to worry about any of that so if i can possibly connect the two it works it does um how much is a bed 800 yeah i could do that hang on a second let me just make sure i put this in right 800 there, 800 there, and another 800 there. There. And wait, actually, no, that's fine. Another applicant came in. What's the other applicant? A f police officer. Okay, nighttime police officer. There we go. Cool. All right, so I don't know if this is, like, being effective over here when it comes to these jobs, like these, like, hiring desk maybe, but, like, this right here, I don't know if this is being effective. Uh, police, like, what, what does it say? Can't start production, not... All inputs available. Do you still have required items in stock? I, I I don't know what that actually means. I don't. I don't. What does that mean? What 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 does that mean? Possibly. Uh, office. No, I think everything that you need to have is 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 basically in there. I don't know. Maybe the game will will let me know in a sec. I don't know. But we have no trucks left. That was a successful mission. That's good to see. That's big money in our pockets. Awesome. 298 on the reputation. Once this other truck gets back, we will complete our uh, our situation here of set up the police. And uh, yeah, I think that's probably 
what is it don carlitos don carlito oh that's way off of the way we still have this freaking national holiday that's coming up on us all right so let's bring these guys in they came in successful as well 69 love to see it uh there on that go. yeah enforcement is up and running it is now it's time we finish some business <clears throat> alas i talk too much uh, prepare the armed police for a mafia boss trial Preparing there for like the SWAT team and things like that, right? Uh, which is going to be in, in its own self, friggin' something, right? So complete the Mafia boss trial event. Interesting, interesting, interesting enough. So does that give us a bunch of new things? It does. It does give us a bunch of new things. Um, it gives us a holding cell. It gives us a garage. I wasn't even expecting a holding cell, to be fair with you. So I did not even plan for a holding cell. Uh, utility gives us uh, what is called a submersible pump maintenance station. Store and repair submersible pumps. Sure. Uh, there is a police van, which is going to be something that we need anyways. Uh, training for our police officers. So training at the door. Probably should unlock that. Uh, bench press. Should probably unlock that. Um, holding cell. Again, wasn't expecting this. I don't know how, where I'm going to work this one in. But uh, yeah. Interesting indeed. Nonetheless. Huh. Huh. Uh, another bathroom thing. What do we have here? A vanity mirror reduces exhaustion and increases relaxation. I like that. And then we have a kitchenette, an actual kitchenette, which probably would go really well with our people. Bunk beds slightly reduces the exhaust exhaustion uh, and relaxation areas where they can have a seat. They can have a chair. They can do all this. Thank you, Gabriel, for subscribing to the channel and all this. So all these cool things that the game just really just dumped on us. And I love it. Um... Well, we... Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I I like it. I just like it a lot. A vanity mirror would be pretty cool. Where is this, like... Yeah. Okay. Let's put a vanity mirror. Let's put it, like, right here. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Right as they walk out. And same off over here. Put a vanity mirror over here. As soon as they kind of... Well, I guess we can't do that over here in this layout. Uh, let's put it right next to the sink. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Love the music in this game again. I can't, like, stress that enough. Let's build a kitchenette also. There we go. Put that bad boy right in there. Love to see that. $4,500. They're going to really like that. Um, Let's actually put some doors down, too. Uh, let's put doors, like, over here. Let's put a door right here. If anything, the firefighters and police officers can share a kitchen for right now. So that's why I'm putting the added door there in the hallway. Where is the, where's the relaxation area? Wasn't that something? Was it in here? Where was the relaxation area? I thought there was a relaxation area. I could be like wrong about that. I, I, I thought there was. Scroll down, please. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Outside. No. Okay. I, I don't know. But now we got to get in a holding cell, which is going to be a whole like other kind of mess but anyways that's gonna do it today's episode hope you guys enjoy this if you guys want to see more of, of hq what is this uh, rescue hq I i'd be glad to show more this is actually really fun I, I do enjoy this anyways thank you guys so much we could check out the mafia boss trial in the next episode if there is one anyways do take care